Common Nature Center. I am Miss Kim. Are you ready for your virtual field trip? Come, let's explore fall. Hi, kindergartners. Today we're going to be going on cottage trail. And we're going to be learning about living and non-living things. Let's go. Well, we finally made it to our my favorite spot on Cottage Trail. We're on a boardwalk that goes through a wetland. Now, wetlands are just so important. There's so many things that happen in a wetland. But today, we're going to talk a little bit about living and non-living things. So let's start with what's living. Take a look. Can you see anything that's living right now? I see living things all over this wetland. A living thing needs energy, so they eat in some way, whether it's food from an animal, food from a plant, or they're a plant that makes their own food. They breathe. They need water and they also need a place to live. So there are so many living things here. So take a look again. Can anybody name a living thing? I've been hearing birds. Is that a living thing? A moment ago I heard a woodpecker and I also just heard a crow. Hmm, wait a minute. Those things, those tall things, green and browns and oranges, trees, are those living things? Yes, they are. So we know what a living thing is. A non-living thing can be very, very tricky. So I want you to think a minute. Hmm, a non-living thing, if it's not li living, does it need energy? So can it make its own food? Can it eat? No. Does a non-living thing breathe like us? Everybody take a good deep breath. <sighs> non-living thing doesn't breathe. Does a non-living thing need a place to live? No. So I want you to take a look and let's see if you can find a non-living thing in this wetland. So take a look. I have already seen two very big non-living things here in our wetland. Can you think of it? Why don't we take a look down here? What do we see here? What is that? Right, water. Water is a very important non-living thing. Without water, guess what? We just, we wouldn't live. There's so many things that need water. Take a look again. See all these plants? Could they live without water? How about the trees, the trees that we talked about? Could they live without water? Well, let's think a minute. Why is water a non-living thing? Does water breathe? Does water need energy? Does water need a place to live? Well, it needs a place to stay, but it's not actually alive. So what happens is, is this water pools here in our wetland. That gives a place for plants to grow. That gives a place for different things to live. I'm thinking of an amphibian that has long legs. 
What do you think it is? Right, a frog. Frogs need this water to live. They actually breathe through their skin. They need the water to keep their skin pliable and, and to be able to absorb oxygen in the air and the water. We'll talk a little more about that in a second. Let's see, what else would live in the water? Hmm. Come take a closer look. Look right down here. Now, today is a little hard to see, but on a nice day, sometimes you'll see things wiggling in the water. Itty bitty things. Well, they're insects. Did you know that insects need water that is what they call stagnant, which is still water? And that's so they can lay their eggs and hatch and live in that water. So water is so important to so many things. Now, what's another non-living thing that's right here in our wetland? Take a look around. Maybe you can see it over here. I'll give you a hint. It is very shiny, it is very warm, and you might need your sunglasses or a hat. That's right, the sun. The sun is a very non, uh, is a very important non-living thing. It is so important. Plants need the sun to be able to make food. Yes, isn't that cool? So your lovely trees that we've been looking at and the plants that are in the water absorb the sunlight, soak up the water, make a good slurping noise with me, and it takes the two together with the air. Yes, the air is also a very important non-living thing. And it mixes together and they make their own food. You try that. Grab the sun, grab the water, make a slurping noise. Take a deep breath. Take your two hands. You just made food. Without the sun, life could not exist. So important. So keep that in mind that when we're thinking about how things are and how to keep things healthy, we also need to worry about our non-living things because without the non-living things, we will not have anything else that's living. Hey guys, we looked at some really cool things today and I have a really fun activity to do outside in your schoolyard or your backyard or even come to the nature center and do this worksheet. This is our living in non-living worksheet. And all I did is took a book and put a clothespin and now you have a clipboard. Take your pencil and all you're gonna do, this is a really fun scavenger hunt. You're gonna find living and non-living things. So first you're gonna look for flower, bird, insect, tree, snake, roots, animal with fur and a seed. Now, you sometimes you don't find everything and that's okay. Maybe you wanna take more than one adventure to see if you can find everything on your uh, scavenger hunt. But we're gonna to try to find all these things. Then you're gonna look for non-living things. So here are some non-living things. Wind, water, rock, soil. Soil is another word for dirt, clouds, sunlight, and a spider web. Once we found all those non-living things, then you draw a picture in the box. And then you're going to circle all the non-living things. So let's try to find two living things. 
Why don't you take a look? Okay, I just heard a bird. Did anybody see a tree? So those are two living things. So all you do is you can put an X or you can do a check mark. You can do a smiley face, whatever you want. Now, I want you to look around again. Take a look. Look around, see if you can find a non living thing. Okay, so today, did you see the wind was moving the trees? So we just found wind. What are these things right here? Rocks, are those non-living? Yes. So there's a lot of non-living things right here and we haven't even moved yet. So now I'm gonna use my artist skills here. I'm going to draw some pictures. So here's a beautiful tree. Let's see, we'll make a tree with needles on it. I'm gonna draw some moss. We need our rocks. Maybe the wind whoo, going through the tree leaves. What do you think? In the sun? It's a sunny day. Put the sun up. Okay. So then what you're going to do is say, okay, what are the non-living things? Think a minute. Right. Sunlight. Rocks. Soil. What about the wind? All your non-living things. You can do this many different places. Have fun with it. Um, I didn't have time today, but take some time to color your pictures and have some fun.